children we have discussed about light and shadows right so when we talk about light and shadows we get something into our mind that is taking pictures so whenever somebody is taking a picture with the help of his camera or cell phone he asks you to be in light if there is a proper projection of light on your face then you, he can capture the picture well right so light and shadows these are connected with the cameras taking pictures so camera is a device that is used to take the picture capture the picture onto a paper so initially in camera the picture is taken digitally later it is developed to a printout in your cell phone just you can take a pic and you can see that pic any number of times so that is captured right so even our eyes are a kind of cameras yes we have a pair of cameras fixed to our head so we can look at something and we can take a pic of that we can get each and every detail of the picture in our mind so we have two cameras right so now let us see how can we make a camera of course we are not going to make a very complicated camera to take the pictures just we are going to make a simple camera called as a pinhole camera so what is this pinhole camera how is this useful by making this pinhole camera you can get the images of various objects onto a screen right just you can see on the screen you can cast the image of an object onto a screen so that you can do that let's see how to do this pinhole camera and how you can get the images of objects into your camera so you need to take a cardboard box so here we have taken a cardboard box it's a rectangular cardboard box it's a hollow box we have taken and we have taken one more cardboard box which is smaller in size that means the smaller one fits in the bigger one but see that when you fix the smaller one in the bigger one there should be no gap it should be tight right so by that no light enters into the box so this is the outer box i labeled it as a and this is the b so for this box at the back side you made a hole pin hole so that's the reason why you call this camera as a pin hole camera just you made a hole and whereas in the inner one the second box which you are going to keep inside that particular box at the back side you have cut a square a square 5 to 6 cm so after cutting the square you pasted one butter paper butter paper so this is also called as tracing paper so you have pasted to the inner box not the outer box the outer box has got one hole that is the pin hole the inner box it has got a cutting that is covered by a tracing paper so now what you are going to do is that you are going to fix this inner box into the outer box this way so you are bringing this box here so like this it will be so it has got the cutting here now you are moving the inner and outer boxes so what you are going to do with this pinhole camera so you have taken your pinhole camera out and you are trying to look at the objects which is far which are far you are looking for a tree a building but see that whatever the objects that you wanted to see them in your pinhole camera they should be in a bright light so you have to do this in a very sunny day where there is a plenty of sunshine so you can go outside in the ground you can see the trees and buildings you can target any one tree and you can move your inner and outer boxes so by that you can adjust and you have to see through the pinhole so you have to see through the pinhole you have to look at what you have to look at the screen that you have made here by sticking the butter paper 
So when you do this alignment very slowly, then definitely you will get the image of the tree that what you are looking for. So how is the tree? You find the images upside down. Right? You find the building image upside down. So in this way, you can capture the images onto the screen of your pinhole camera. But anyway, you cannot record them. Just you can see them by making this pinhole camera. Right? So we can see the sun, we can observe the eclipse by using simple device, not by directly seeing at the sun. Okay, now let's see how to see the sun and how to see the eclipse. Right, we cannot see the sun directly. It's very dangerous. You never attempt this at home. Don't try to look at the sun. It may damage your eyes. The bright sunlight may damage our eyes. We should never look at this sun. Right. So if somebody wanted to observe the eclipse, here is a very simple and easiest way by which you can easily observe the eclipse. You can easily see the sun, how it is. You take a chart or a cardboard, which is big enough and make a hole at the center. So you have taken a big chart or a cardboard and there you made a hole. Now you have taken this cardboard to the sun, outside sunlight, you are holding the cardboard like this. The sunlight is falling. See, you are holding the cardboard this way or the chart this way. So here is the sun. The sunlight is falling. Here you can see that the shadow is formed. So whatever the cardboard you are holding out, so the cardboard's shadow is formed here. So at the center of the shadow, you can see the light, a dot of light. It represents the sun. It, repre it represents the image of the sun. So here you caught the image of the sun on the ground by creating a shadow. If there is eclipse, so you know what happens during the eclipse. We cannot see the sun during solar eclipse. We can't see the sun. It happens very gradually. Gradually, the shape of the sun changes. Part by part, it will be missing. And finally, we see no sun and again part by part, we will be able to see the sun. It's all because of the shadows, right? You know that. So here, the same kind of changes, what happened to the sun, the changes will be reflected here in your image that you caught on the ground. So here you can observe the eclipse. You need not raise your head towards the sun and you need not risk to see the solar eclipse with your naked eyes. Simply by doing this, you can see how the eclipse takes place. Right. So in this way, we can observe the sun and we can observe the eclipse. Now let us see what is the path of light, how the light travels. The light travels in a straight line. This is a fact. Light always travels in a straight line. How can we prove that? How can we verify that the light always travels by a straight line? See here, there is a source of light. Here we have taken the source of light that is the candle. It is a source of light. Here is a boy. So this boy is aiming to see the light. So what he did, he took a pipe. So he took a pipe. How the pipe is? He took a pipe like this. So now, is he able to see the light of the candle? You know that the light travels in straight line. Straight lines. But what happened here? So he has taken a pipe like this, which is not straight. Can he see the light? Can he see the light? So on the other hand, here we have one more. One more boy. So he is looking at the candle through the pipe. So in this case, if you see that there, his eye is exactly straight to the light. The pipe is straight. It's not bending. Even though the position of eye and candle are in the same plane, they are exactly opposite to each other. 
if the pipe is in this shape can he see that the light cannot travel like this the light always travels in a straight line so the light it travels still here it get reflected like this that's all it cannot go this way right so we are able to see one thing when the light from the object is reflected to our eyes in a straight way straight path so by this experiment we can understand that light always travels in a straight line is that it doesn't take any turnings the light ray it never takes a curved path light rays always travel in a straight line so you can do this experiment by rolling a paper you can make a pipe you can see the objects if you bend your pipe and see you can see nothing because no light passes in the curved path now let's see mirrors and reflectors what is a mirror so mirror is a glass object mirror is a glass object one side it is coated with some chemical so by that it will give out the reflection we know when light falls on any object the light is reflected back but all the light is not reflected okay some light is absorbed some light is refracted that means all light is not exactly reflected in only some cases when the surface is very plain then the whole light is reflected whatever the light is falling on that that light will be reflected when the surface is very plain so likewise here we have a mirror such a plain surface such a very plain surface when light falls on that it gets reflected okay so you have taken a torch and you focus it that light onto a mirror now the mirror will reflect the light onto something else here your friend is there he is standing over here you are not throwing the light on your friend directly you are throwing the light onto a mirror in this direction so the light is reflected to your friend so by this we can see that two things we can say light travels in a straight line and second thing it get reflected mirrors reflect the light so they reflect the light so this way it is going to hit the mirror and this way it is reflecting okay so by changing the direction of the mirror you can change onto which object it gets reflected that is possible here we can do one more activity you can take a torch you can take a torch you can focus the light onto a cardboard so where you have kept one comb comb you kept a comb over here so on this board you kept one mirror this is the mirror mirror m so when you are focusing the light here the light passes through the teeth of the comb and it forms the shadow again the light which is falling in the mirror they form the shadows like this so by this experiment also we can know that light travels in a straight line and it gets reflected by the mirrors okay so this property of light getting reflected is used in many places we have so many applications with that so every day you use your mirrors to to comb your hair brush your teeth wash your face and get get the makeup dressing everything you need a mirror so it works on the principle of light that is the reflection reflection of light okay so you will be knowing more and more details and the properties of light in your higher class